I'm Courtney Brickton with The Crafty Brick. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share a new project that I just tried out this week. I had a customer that wanted me to make a stole for them for graduation. So if you've got somebody graduating, you really might be interested in this video. It was a simple project to make. It took a little bit of, um, you know, working around to get the sizing correct, but I did that and I designed it in Silhouette Studio and then I printed it with my sawgrass printer, sublimated it and used my heat press nation press. So I wanted to walk you through all the steps of how I did that so you can make your own. And if you wanna see that, then let's get started. The first thing that I wanna do is take my tape measure here and I wanna see how wide this is. So when we go to design it, I will know how wide the rectangle needs to be that I'm gonna be using. So we have about four, little over four and a half. So I'm probably gonna make it about 4.8 inches just so we can have some space to tape it. And then I also wanna see how long we have here, like how high up I want the design to go. So maybe 14. And then where do I want the name to be? So let's see, I've got 30 inches here. So maybe I will do 14 just from the bottom. And then maybe the name can be 14 inches. So there's a little bit of space on the top and the bottom um, above the name. So see, I've got a little bit of space here at the top and the bottom. And then I've got the bottom here where the name is. So actually, let's see, how much space did I have for this one? This one I use 10 inches there, and then that was about 12 inches. Okay, so I just wanted had more space for that 30 inches from the top to the bottom. Let's see if that one I use 30 inches. It was, all right, 30 inches. So I just had more space in between here. So about 12 inches for the name and then about 10, 11 inches for the bottom. All right, let's jump into the computer and design this. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is go to Creative Fabrica. Let's see, Creative Fabrica. Oh, I didn't type in the whole thing. You didn't like the way I typed it in? Okay, here we go. Now it likes me. Let's put in Polynesian. There was a design here that I liked. Oh, here it is. Okay, so now we're gonna download that and go over here to our downloads. Perfect, it's right there. So now we'll go back over to Silhouettes, and we'll click File and Merge and bring that on over into our design on our canvas. So it takes a little bit of time because it's a large file with a lot of details. Um, so I'm going to highlight it and just make it a little bit smaller so it's easier to work with. The unfortunate thing about this file is that it is not transparent background. So I actually don't want it to be black, but if I highlight it and I go up here and I change it to navy blue, which is what I want, it's just gonna change the whole thing to just a navy blue box because there it's just one big blank box because it doesn't have a transparent background. So we're gonna click the back arrow. We're gonna fix this issue. What we're going to do is go over here, actually not that one, this this one that looks kind of looks like a, I don't know, a butterfly or a piece of toast or something, I don't exactly know. Click that, we're gonna select our trace area. So we're gonna highlight the whole thing here. And then after you've highlighted it, um, you'll see it all turn yellow. You can click trace, trace the outer edge, or trace and detach. Um, what we're going to do is just trace the whole thing. It's nice because we can see all of the yellow lines here. We can see all the detail. So we'll just click trace because that's 
perfect for what we need for this design. Now you'll see that everything has turned red that was traced previously. We're gonna take the background here and go ahead and move that away from our image and delete it. Cause all we need is this right here. So now that it doesn't have the background, we will go ahead and change this color to navy up here in this top right corner. So now all of our design is navy. It still has the red outline. So we will do the outline since it's red and we'll change that to navy also. Now we are ready for the bottom half of our design. So let's go ahead, make this a little bit smaller. So now we measured the stole and each of the sides were about four, 0.8, four, four and a half. We were just rounding up a little bit to make them 4.8. I'm going to make this design um, 10 inches so that we have enough to um, have room on each side to take. So it's going to be 10 inches and we're going to make it, let's see, we've got that unlocked so we can make it a little bit taller because I want it to be about 12 inches I think 12 here we go 12 12 and a half we'll make it 12 and a half inches let's change that up there 12 and a half inches okay so that part is done we're going to cut that when we get it out and that's the bottom part but we do want to write his name Okay, actually D E V I N. We're going to go ahead and change that to our um, varsity team. There we go. Make that a little bit bigger. And Let's see, actually, I'm gonna make this so that we can make sure that this is in the right spot. So I'm just kind of gonna split this in half. Okay, so, cause I wanna make sure that the names are in the right spot. So click the arrow to make sure that this is right. So each of these, I am going to make 4.8, cause that's how wide we need them to be on the stole. So let's copy this. All right, and we've got where it's going to be split down the middle. Make sure that's in the middle. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to put that in the back. Put this one in the back also up here. Those little squares, we can not go to the back. So I want the front. I'm highlighting all of these. So now we're going to go over here to the little rectangle in the square. And we are going to crop them. It's working, it's working, it's working. Sometimes with these really detailed pictures, it takes a little bit of time. All right, so I'm gonna highlight all of these because it made these all into individual pieces. So I want them all to be together. So I'm doing this side also. So you see all these little squares here. That means that there's individual pieces of this picture. So it won't all move together. So I'm highlighting all of it, putting it together. And that's how you combine those pieces there. Oops, I deleted them. I didn't mean to do that. I want them to be together. Okay, now we know exactly where our name is going to need to be. That's why I split those because I wanted them to be right where they needed to be down the middle. So I see that and I want to go over here and do an outline. So I got the star right here I'm going to do an outline, an offset of the name. I'm gonna make it 
a little bit thicker. All right, so now we're going to apply that offset. I'm going to change that offset, the inside color I'm gonna to change to navy. And then the offset, actually, hold on, let me move that out of the way a minute. There, there's the offset, it doesn't wanna highlight it for me. So then I'm gonna change that to white. All right, so let's move that back in the middle. And we can highlight both of them and click this center button and that will make sure that it's right in the center where it needs to be. So now we're going to go back over here and get another rectangle. Oops, I definitely don't need it that big. Really all I'm trying to do is just split this name into two sections. So I'm going to send it to the back so that I can see where exactly it's going to cut. Actually, I'm, first I'm gonna make sure that it's the right size. Ah, why do you keep moving all over? Let me highlight these again. Center them. Okay, now I'm gonna put them together plus the, so that little square so we can make sure they're together. Now I'm gonna make it larger so I can see where do I need to cut it to fit on our design. Okay, that looks good. So that size is good. Now what I'm gonna do is back over here, I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm gonna highlight the name and I'm going to highlight the box, go to this rectangle and circle down here. I want to divide and then I'm going to move my rectangle and I'm going to take the D, E, and B and group those together. All right, and then we will move those over here. All right, and then we'll take the V, I, N and I want to group those together. And we'll bring those over to our design. I'm going to highlight both of them. Um, I want them to be the same level. So let's, oops. Take these three lines here, make sure the bottom is lined up. Perfect. All right, and bring this D over a little bit. I want them to be pretty close together. All right, I moved them around, so let me just make sure that they're still lined up on the bottom. Okay, they are. One more thing, I just wanna make sure. Um, I wanna just be certain that I have enough of the design to cover the whole stole. So I wanna just take the name here. I'm gonna take Devin, um, I'm gonna highlight these two and let's move them out of the way. And now that they're out of the way, I wanna highlight the whole pattern here and I just wanna make it cover the whole page because we're actually going to use the top part of it so that we can cover the top part of the stole as well. So I'm just gonna highlight it and then I'm going to drag the bottom here. Let's see. Bring that down to the corner and then let's bring the top up to the top so that it's covering the entire sheet of paper. So then we will have enough space to cover the top of the stool and the bottom. But I still wanna keep that line in the middle because I want to move Devin back up to where it belongs so that I know that when I'm pressing it, it's going to be in the right position. So now that we've covered the whole sheet of paper, let's go ahead and bring the first part of Devin up and line it up with the, the little space in the middle, the gap in the middle. We're gonna line both of them up 
just so they're touching right there because that's where they're going to touch the middle of the stole and they're going to be split so that they're even on each side. So we wanna go ahead and highlight both of them so we can make sure and go up here and make sure that the bottoms are lined up so that they are even. This one, let's see, this one over here, I kinda wanna make sure that it is right lined up with that gap. Um, there, there we go. Okay, we are ready to do the other part. Let's get another page here. Do some rectangles. And we're just gonna edit this one. We are going to do 4.8. We wanna make sure that our spacing is right for the letters. And we're going to do 12 in height. All right, and we're going to copy and paste that. Ah, go back over there. All right. Now I'm gonna change both of these to white just because I hate working with it in blue. Do, 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 do. Change it to white. All right. Now we're gonna go and we will do our words again. We're going to, oops, needed to go down. We're gonna do the name of the high school. I-S-O-N. All right, let's move that up a little bit. Actually, highlight all of those and we are going to use our varsity team again wait what are you doing varsity team perfect and then we would like to center this so that i lines up so they're all lined up all right we're good here now what we need to do is our offset and we've got 1.25. I think I want to do 1.5 with our offset. Kind of like the look of that. 0.15. Okay, and then we'll change the background of the offset to white. And we will change the middle letters to our navy blue that we're working with. And then let's highlight the whole thing. And come up here and attach it so that it will move together and they're not separate. All right, we can make this a little bit bigger since this is the actual size. Ah, I didn't mean to increase the size of my rectangle. I wanted to increase the size of our word here, Madison. All right, then we want to do another word and we're going to do 20, oops, 20, 23. We're gonna highlight that, do our varsity team again. Perfecto. Oh, it didn't do it. Varsity, why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's doing. We are highlighted. We are ready to SI. Oh, maybe because I'm spelling it wrong. Varsity team, oh. Maybe it was a user error. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Not too much bigger. We are gonna do our offset again. 
and we are going to do 1.5 or 0.15 again so it matches the other side and we will do our white background and we will also change that blue to navy okie dokie let's highlight this and attach it and bring it on over to our other side now the reason only reason we really did these rectangles is to just get the placement um i also have a couple pictures that we need to install on here and where are they Let's see, did I, Africa, here we go, we got our little Africa continent here, let's make that a bit, oh, keeps moving these things, all right, let's highlight this with the little continent with it, and let's move it out of the way, oh, it didn't. Take the little island with it, Madagascar. We would like you both to move together, please. Thank you, my friend. All right, and now I would like to make you both a little bit smaller. All right, that looks good. Let's move you on top. I think we're going to need you to be even a little bit smaller. All right, and let's turn you navy blue. Perfect. You're both navy blue. Now we would like to merge in the Philippines. All right, I went back to create a fabric hub and got the Filipino star. And let's download that. We need that. We need that in our life and on our stove. Okay, Filipino star. Go back into Silhouette Studio. We we're merging this. All right, we've got our star in here. Let's make this a little smaller so it will fit on the bottom here oops keep moving my rectangles out of the way all right now let's turn this navy and i just realized here i've got white background here for the offset and that is not going to print so I need to move this out of the way for just a moment shoot they're disconnected okay let's move that top part and I'm going to attach all of these offset shapes right here I'm going to go up here change the color to navy and then we will change this color to white and actually change the outline to white too and then move that back over because we really want it to be able to show up, you know, on that when we press it. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way, connect all these three and attach them. And we'll go up here and just repeat that and change that color to navy. And then we'll move these back over and change them to white and change that outline to white. And then um, now they're ready to move back over. So got, glad I realized that before I printed it out. So now we're ready to save these and print it so i'm going to save them under silhouette and i'm going to save them as a png we'll do it stole one and we'll also do stole two we'll do 300 dpi and transparent background and now i'm going to save the second one also stole two png Save 300 DPI, transparent background, save. 
All right, now let's open them up with our sawgrass printer and print them out. All right, I got my design here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the middle. So we can have two pieces. I want to make sure that the name is in the right spot. I'm go ahead and get some paper to protect the bottom of my press and then take the stole and lay it out. Make sure we're laying it the right way. Be bad if we weren't laying it the right way. Okay, and then I'll get my tape. Let's put these in the right spots. So we're going to place it all the way down at the bottom. And at the bottom of this one. Actually, there's a little line along the bottom edge. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off just because I want to make sure that they're both even. Okie dokie. Now we'll put that on the bottom edge of the stole. And then I think I don't want it to come all the way up here. We're going to make it come to about right here. All right, so I'm going to use my paper cutter. Let's see where I cut it. Where did I cut it? Oh, there we go. Right there. Are we all lined up? We're all lined up. The bottom is lined up. Okay. Cut that part off use this other section for the top so we'll just save that I'm going to place these on here and I'm going to tape it onto the stole so that it will stay in place And then line up the bottom here. Wait, why is that not lining up? There we go. I'm like, wait a second here. We want the name to be straight. some paper for the top. And then we'll go ahead and close our press. I've got it set to 400 degrees for, I say drop down to 390, but I've got it set for 40 seconds. Hot, hot, hot. So the bottom is done. Looks very good. We're gonna get rid of this block paper. And let's get another piece of paper. We're gonna lay our stool here. Make sure that these are lined up down here at the bottom so we know that we're starting from the right place, so they're even. All right, and now we're gonna put the high school and the year. Let's cut this a little more. 
I like to cut them kind of close to the word because that helps me center them a little bit better. see through the paper so I can see that they're lined up. I'm trying to get even in between this fold line up here and where we are down here because I'm going to put the top part there. So I like for this to be centered. It's lined up down here and this looks good here. So let's take that down. Tape it down on all the sides. And this, let's get that centered. And that looks good there. Another piece of paper. Make sure you cover that bottom part that already has the sublimation ink on it. Close it up. And then we are going to do the top. And then the whole thing will be finished. All right. Open up. Okay, so. All of those parts are finished. Now we're going to do the top. So the way that I found the top worked the best was first taking out these, these edges because this lines up, this pattern lines up like that. So I want to take off the white because I don't want there to be white in between the top. So... I cut off those edges. I know that it's going to go like that. So let's see. How does it go? That goes on that side. This one goes on this side. Okay, so get those lined up. We can't line it up like that because it needs to be lined up with this line right here, which is like the perfect transition piece. So I take this, line it up right there at the bottom, get some tape on here. I want to make sure that it's folded all the way down. I don't want it to be folded over at all because then that part won't get ink on it. So I want to make sure that all of this is folded down so that all the spots are getting pressed. So I'm gonna tape this side down too. And another little trick that I figured out, because since these are folded over, it's very possible to get some ink on the inside of there, but you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is fold this like this, put it on the inside, slide it all the way through. I want that paper to cover the other side of our stole so that no ink gets on the inside there. I found that that helped so that we didn't get ink on the inside. So now I will turn it back over and I'll go ahead. I 
Actually, that's the paper that was on there before. I don't want to use that paper. The last thing I want is ink getting on my white stole that I'm using. Blue ink, that'll be super annoying. So let's lay this on here. Make sure that that top stole is not allowing the, the bottom one to be exposed. I'm gonna put some paper in here too. I'm just trying to make sure that no ink gets on there. Okay, so I put that on the middle. It's all folded over. And we're ready to press. One more piece of tape. Okay, push that in. Everything's covered. All right, we've got two seconds left. Open it on up. It slid out. Okay. Get the tape off. Whew. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my goodness, dropping it. But we did not get ink on this other side. So that was what we were trying to not have happen, and it didn't. And we got it all the way across here. So now we're going to do the other side and then we're finished. Let's get some more. All right, place this down. Get this paper to go on the inside. All the way up at the top here. You want it all the way up, and I'm going to place it here as well. And we'll get our design, line it up on that bottom, just like we did before. All right, making sure that paper is going all the way. Under it is all right. We are ready to press this side. I'm gonna hold this right here so it doesn't slide off. There we go. All right, we're good not going to slide off while it's in. So excited to show you the finished results. Ready to come out. All right, so let's take this off. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. You guys, crafty friends, look at this. It looks great. There's no ink on the other side. We prevented that with our blowout paper and the stole looks fabulous. Here's the bottom. Let me just put it on for you. Let me just put it on for you. Look at this. So that is how you make the stole designing in Silhouette Studio and sublimating it onto your own blank. I hope that you enjoyed watching today and learning this um, technique. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss anything crafty because I am here every single week doing something crafty or DIY project and I'm sharing it with you and your support of my channel really helps me continue to create videos for you. So. Thank you for being here. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate that you spent some of it with me. I will be back. Until then, stay happy, my friends.